two. Let's go. Go to King's Row and see who takes it. I get it. Mercy of the King's Row, where the Elderworth Hotel is, and you probably don't want to stay there because you got like you know people with rocket launchers landing on your balcony outside your room all the time. Or Omnic's yeah. getting assassinated, like right in front of your hotel. Sniper bullets going past all the time. Yeah, it's. I would it not recommend dangerous. it. Like a one star rating on a go to right now, <laughs> man. It's it's harsh for Elder. It's been in the family for generations. <laughs> Might be time it's to close, guys. I'm sorry. It's just in a bad neighborhood. Defensive mercy. <laughs> mm, I mean, I see validity in defensive mercy right now. At least on point one. There's like. I don't know what the word is. That's right. Damage boost at 76 is so good on some maps where like you can control high ground, but obviously Mercy Res is hit or miss. The problem with Mercy isn't necessarily the fact that it's a Mercy, it's just the fact that Res is pretty bad in general. However, I will say that since D.Va is getting picked less, running Mercy has got more value because resing most heroes now is not PG. Like, there's a, there's also, like, the the concept of, like, heroes that are good to res that don't get, like, instantly blown up. So, um... That's that. Is Reinhardt super out of position? Anchor's super aggressive in this choke, and he gets punished immediately. Okay. Fortunately, Dance gets the return kill on the Anna, so I'm pretty sure they should be able to hold here. Although, I don't really like Bird Ring's positioning here. Little ass. I mean, I don't think Kung Duancia's positioning here was good at all. I don't even think that it was so much anything else as the fact that Panker was just like in no man's land. Although the fact that Anna didn't go down is contributing to them holding right now since that nano boost came out super fast and Eamon still doesn't have it. The very fast Graviton. I don't know, that was a pretty straightforward cap. I think Panker screwed them over there. I don't really think there was much else to that. Um, Dongyan did a lot of damage, more or less because his Reinhardt got aggressive. Had him pin Panker like at the beginning of that fight and just started off the fight really good for them because Emmy Reinhardt's dead, your Zarya is gonna do a shit ton of damage. I mean, even if they run dive comp on this map, it's pretty hard to get to the Mercy if the Mercy is like upstairs in the windows and shit. I guess it's not the most straightforwardly easy thing to do. But yeah, they switch off the Mercy anyway. Birdwing's going for this flank. Found him though. Um, this is the big deal. Baits out the Reinhardt shield. I'm surprised that he's gonna go for this. This is some weird decision making from Africa Freaks or Africa Freaks. Like they knew he was there. They didn't respect it. And now they're gonna have to come up with a way to beat him. Like Arhan might want to switch. To be honest. Um, this is like something you can do in your pubs actually. Just like. That positioning sit up there because it forces teams to have what? to deal with you and some heroes actually just can't deal with you like genji can deal with you in some regards but not consistently i guess it's a pretty forced alt i would say i don't like butcher's decision to graviton there i think that was shit um I also don't know why Arhan keeps going for these bear dragon blades. Like if he had nano boost there, he probably could have won that quite convincingly. But he keeps going in. I, like I don't know why they keep doing that. Like they keep burning their gravit. There's nano boost on like Zarya's and shit. But if you're gonna run the Arhan Genji, you have to play it like the phase style and just give him every single nano boost. Uh, run walk. Thanks for the re or thanks for the sub. Actually, not even the resub. Thanks for your support. New sub hype. Um, but I didn't like butcher's graviton. It was I don't like I don't like defensive gravitons, just in general. Um, 
unfortunate for Recry there. That was really aggressive though, and I don't know what he thought he was going to do there. But it looks like, I mean, Recry makes a huge mistake there. He might, he should have just popped the attack visor as soon as he turned the corner. He would have had a lot more success instead of trying to go for like the skirmishy one v one. Um. But they're not using Nano Boost really well on the side of AF Blue. And it's actually hurting them really bad. Like, I don't even know where Eamon just used it. He, who did he use it on? What did he do? There's a Nano Boost going off somewhere. It's on Arhan, who doesn't even have ults. Which is really fucking weird. Like, he should have used it on Arhan last fight, and then given it to Recry this fight. Um, but if you have really bad nano boosts, then, like, you're gonna... I, when I was watching this, I felt like it was a straight out skill, but I don't think that AF Blue is that bad watching this now. Like, I don't feel like they're super outskilled. I think that, like, they're just blowing these ults poorly. I don't know why. Like, why are they nanoing Genji with no ult, but then not nanoing Genji when he does have ult, and then not nanoing 76 when he has ult? Dance is super deep here, but Arhan's dead again. Congrats, like... I like this Graviton, like the... Yeah, like the let's get him kind of Gravitons. The nano boost of the Roadhog, that was probably unnecessary. Um... It doesn't matter because, like, see, Mano's gonna stagger there. That's really bad. That's another like 20 seconds on the clock that they didn't need, or 10 seconds, or whatever. Um, like, they switched to this Reaper, thinking that, like, there's anything, like, they had, they had Visor there again. What up, Ifrat? Thanks, thanks. But yeah. That shatter there. Nothing else to talk about there. I think Eamon's nano boost image. And this Genji's trying to live again. Like, why are you trying to live? You're going to die. And he somehow survives. Reaper at this point on the map is a bit weird. I mean, I don't hate it. I think Reaper's fine on this point. It's pretty tight. I would have gone like McCree or something, but it's whatever. You can't push very easily with 5 to 6. They're gonna push from upper now, which is an interesting decision. They still don't have Graviton. At this point, they need to just make the Graviton work um, on Dong Yun. So they should nano the Genji and just Graviton. But they nano the Reaper? Why are they so dumb? Or Arhan, man. Okay, Arhan gets farmed again, but is that really his fault? And despite the effort from Afrika Blue, that push is going nowhere. And there's the Graviton Surge just for more insult to injury as Butcher gets four. And somehow Dongyun didn't get the Graviton off, and Butcher gets another Graviton. So Butcher literally is on like his fourth Graviton, and Dongyun still hasn't used his third, I think. Our hunt feeds there, teleports into a hook. I mean, I don't think, I actually, I mean, I like Arhan going balls deep, like, you have to play balls deep YOLO style. He actually held his Dragon Blade that entire time waiting for the nano boost. And then he, he got a zero man Graviton. I don't know what's going on in AF Blue World right now, but this is really sloppy. I don't even think individually they're having problems, I think it's just, their ults suck. 1v6? I mean, if you're playing Genji, you're supposed to 1v6. That's like the point of Genji. Literally, if they had nano boosted him every time that he popped his ult, they literally had every. All right, you guys are like flaming Arhan. Arhan had Arhan had Dragon Blade at the same time as nano boost like three times, and he held it. He never popped Dragon Blade when they didn't have nano boost. Like they should just be nano boosting him. There's like nothing else to talk about there. Even without the Zarya bubble, he would have been fine. Like I mean, obviously you want Zarya bubble. But they're not, this Anna's is throwing, or whoever's deciding who they're nano boosting, or whoever's calling for it is throwing. Um, I don't know. That, like, nothing was good there. There was a shitty offense. They had a really good first point, and then they couldn't nano, they couldn't combo ults at all. It's not even like they didn't have opportunities, they just couldn't do it. 
I'm not really sure what's going on in AF Blue World, but that was a pretty poopy idea. But yeah, their Ana didn't do anything. Like, Eamon actually threw, in my opinion. It might not be Eamon's fault. Someone else might have made the call. Maybe, like, you have to realize that, like, when I when I say someone made a mistake, it's not always their fault. It's probably, it might be someone else's. So someone else might be like, oh, Nano the Reaper here. Like, you know, someone might be in charge there. Um, it's not necessarily Eamon that's making the mistake, but on the whole, the team needed to Nano boost the Genji if you're going to run a Genji. Like, why are you running Genji if you're not going to Nano boost him? Like, I'd be tilted if I was AF Blue right now. Because their first push was really good. McCree on this map, I like. Um, I like McCree in general now, and now that there's no D.Va. Get off ults a little bit safer. That flank from Bird Ring. Ew, goes to the right click. Lost respect for him. Alright, duck hunt time, guys. No, what are you doing? Hey, Bird Ring. But whatever, that was a good flank. He killed the 76. I don't know why he rolled out of the window. I don't think he knew the window was behind him. He should be able to get back up there, which is the nice thing. It didn't really matter. But, um... This is a very good, this is why McCree's really good too. It's like, now that D.Va's gone, if you get high ground on McCree, you can 1v176 and stuff, you get the jump. Um, not many heroes could have taken that 1v1, like a Tracer probably not, a Genji wouldn't have had the same success. I think that that's really the strength of the McCree, um, is the fact that you can force these 1v1s and like flashbang is generally a very good ability. And it's not being eaten by a Diva Matrix. So they're going to take that pretty quick. Um, I think the kill on the 76 definitely opened things up for them. Not having your 76 on the high ground on that map is very hard. I think you should switch off 76 now if you're AFB. Most teams aren't doing it yet. I think they're still too used to last patch or whatever. I think even last patch you should have gotten off it, but... I think 76 kind of sucks on second point because of how... Unless you're going to play it like Recry did. Or not recry, how Bird Ring played it on defense where you just sit in the window. I think that's the only play style that you can run. Bird Ring going for this Crouching Tiger hidden McCree. Well, Bird Ring. Oh my gosh, the right click. Alright, time for the dead eye. Unfortunate. Force out sound barrier. Not a bad trade though. I mean you'll trade high noon for sound barrier. That's pretty worth, I would say. I like his positioning up here. See, like this, I mean, like they popped Nano Visor, or they popped Attack Visor there, it didn't really get anything. It's pretty hard to do any work with Attack Visor on this map, or at least on this point. Unless you're flanking. If he was up top in the window, maybe he has more success. But him deciding to play from the low ground, I think, is a mistake on the 76. Who did he flashbang? Flashbang the Zarya. The Butcher has ult, which should be enough for them. They just have to wait for Lucio to get ult. And by Lucio, I mean Anna. Because Anna's name is Lucio, and Lucio's name is Bubbly. I don't know why these teams do this. They think they're funny or some shit. Arhan drops a counter Graviton. I mean, you have to. You can't really flame Arhan for that. They don't have a move here. Like, the cart, they only, if they lose any fight, they just lose. So, they're in do or die situation, so I don't hate that Graviton. I would have preferred if he used it aggressively instead of waiting on it. Like, I would have rather him go in and make them use the shitty Graviton, not himself. It would have made a decent amount, decent enough difference, but yeah, high charge Zarya is going to mow you down every time. And you don't ever want to pop Graviton defensively. So, um, I think the correct play there, like right, where are we? Doesn't matter, whatever, it's Lucid. It looks like Lucio to me. I'm not listening to the casters. So if I look at this, this goes back. And I guess I, would, I wouldn't read this as once, but because I know his name is Dance. Right here? All right, this moment right here. Whatever, guys. It's over. I don't care. It looks like Lucio. Like right here, AFB? Should have just pop Graviton like right now. 
uh, Graviton, like Nano Boost the Hog or Nano Boost the Zarya, you just go. But instead, they wait. Like, you need to take initiative here. Like, Arhan should have thrown it right now. Or, like, before even, like when I was talking about it. But then they nano boost him, and he doesn't have charge, and that's really bad. And the sound barrier comes out. Like, if that sound barrier had to have come out earlier, it would have been a lot better. But whatever. But you see, like, their nano boost was a lot better on the side of Kundu and Tia, because they nano boosted their Zarya when she had charge and wasn't stuck in a Graviton, as opposed to AFB, who nano boosted their Zarya inside of a Graviton with zero charge. So, Eamon's nano boosts have been pretty shit. That's my um, general analysis for King's Row as to what the difference maker was. I don't feel like AFB is getting super out deathmatched or like super out skilled. I think Bird Ring is very good. I think Arhan's very good. I think this Dongyun guy is very good. Um, I mean, Recry is Recry. Like, Recry has had very good games, but I do think that Eamon's ults were Garbo. I think literally the entire map, 90% of his nano boosts were bad. And I mean, there, it's like a weird thing to say, right? Because I had this argument the other day with someone in Discord, and they were like, ults are really hard to use. And I was thinking to myself, like, that's not true. Just hit Q, you know? Like, literally, like, you don't have to think too much sometimes. Like, Nano Boost is one of them. You just look at the person you want to ult. I mean, the hard part about ulting in general is figuring out when to do it and who to do it on. And it should be pretty inherently obvious that if you have a Genji on your team with Dragon Blade, that you should, like, Nano Boost your Genji. And it should also kind of be obvious that if your Zarya is inside of a Graviton with no charge, you shouldn't nano boost your Zarya. So if people find that difficult, drug emoji, I guess, I don't know. But I think Eamon had a very large impact on this game being one-sided. Or feeling one-sided. That's that.